Hello everybody, Stuart from Supermachine here. Today I'm excited to announce that we have introduced the Stable Diffusion 3.5 models within Supermachine. These are live now, you can try both the large model and the turbo model and we'll be introducing the medium model when it becomes available latest month. We're very excited by these announcements and I'm going to go through the Stability AI blog to share some of my thoughts now and then I'm going to show you some of the images that I have created within Supermachine. So don't go away. If you are interested in geeking out about all things AI and image generation, consider subscribing or liking to keep up to date with what we're doing with the channel. Thank you. Let's have a look at the blog of Stability AI for the release of Stable Diffusion 3.5. Stable Diffusion is a series of different models and they are mostly open source, which means that anyone can play with them and improve them. What they've done is they have released the Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large and the Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large Turbo. This means that there is a large model which takes a little bit longer to generate and then the Turbo model which is a st distilled version of this which would be faster to generate but probably a little bit less quality. They've said that they're going to release the medium model on October the 29th and you're probably thinking if there's a medium model and we've already got the large why should i be excited about the medium well it's really looking at the fine tuning capabilities you'll find that most people who are the nerds and geeks of ai image generation and i count myself as one of them love to play with the smaller models because they're easier to put on consumer hardware it's where the magic really happens with the optimizations the training creating all the lauras creating all of the fine-tuned models creating all of the fun stuff so i think that this release for the media model is going to be another breakthrough and we'll probably see a lot of the people who are creating models for the original stable diffusion which was the stable diffusion 1.5 which everyone sort of got behind and had a lot of fun with will now move to this new 3.5 medium model that's that's my prediction anyway so these models are highly customizable they come under this stability ai community license which means that there are pretty much no restrictions on them unless you're a massive company making a lot of money so that's good for us because we can provide them to you guys and it's good for you because it means that we can keep it to a lower cost. So the models are free to download now. They've given this model of a woman lying on the grass because if you follow the scene, you'll know that Stable Diffusion 3.0 released and everyone was kind of sad with it because it didn't perform very well. And there was lots of memes created about this female lying on a grass and it just couldn't do it so it's saying the 3.5 models are the most powerful ones yet they are open open releases which means that anyone can download the weights and you can run the code yourself it says that the media model was not great didn't meet our standards didn't meet the community's expectations so they've taken time to go back to the training board go back to the whiteboard, redo everything. And they've got these 3.5 ones out and they're saying these are great. They say that you can fine tune them, you can create lauras, you can create optimizations, etc., etc. So now we get into, if you want to download the weight, you can do so here or you can click here. It says what they're good for. Professional use cases at one meg megapixel resolution. Turbo is a distilled version, which still generates high quality images and in just four steps, which means it's a lot faster. And then it says again, the medium model, which is going to be released on October the 29th. So once this medium model is released, we will put it into the system, but we expect it to take a couple of days for people to start fine tuning and create better versions of the medium. I believe that fine tunes of the medium will eventually surpass the large that's that's another prediction um then it goes into a bit of the geeky stuff on how they're creating it with the uh transformer blocks and the different technology query key normalization and then it goes into where does the model excel it's customizable easily 
easy to fine tune, which is great. That's what we like with the smaller models. Op optimized to run on standard consumer hardware without heavy demands, which is great as well. Gives a d diverse output. So they are showing here, you've got a female Caucasian woman, you have a female black woman, and you have a man with long, longish hair and some facial hair. So that's pretty fun, it's pretty cool. Then we have the uh, versatile styles. So we have this artsy style here. We have this coffee cup and we have this astronaut in a meadow or similar. <laughs> Then we go into how it performs on the benchmark against other models. So Stable Diffusion 3.5 large is here. They're saying that the prompt adherence is better than all of these other models, which is pretty much all of the other models within the same category. Now they haven't put Flux 1.1 Pro on here and they haven't put the Ideogram models on here, which are of course, closed source companies and charging a lot per image generation so it's a little bit of a shame they didn't put those on here to give a true reflection but obviously they're just trying to big the model up as great as they can so the prompt adherence is high which means tell the model what you want and you'll get the image generation of the image coming out will be what you say it should be pretty good in that regards and then you see we have the aesthetic quality and this is higher than a lot of the other models but they're saying flux one dev does score a little bit higher than this but we're talking you know small points like 10 10 or so points on this scale so that's not much and i think again once we have the uh once we have the fine tunes going, it will perform really well. Here are a few more examples. You know, we have three potions. First one has mana. Second one has health. The, second, the third one has poison. And this is really cool that it can do this because if we go back a year, no model would be able to understand a prompt like that and be able to give you an output like that. We've got a turtle with a fantasy city on its back. It's pretty cool. And then we have a collage art, you know, with perfect text and looking great. So this is really fun. And then we go into the license and ways that you can access the models. Um, and them saying it will be live on October 29th for the medium. So we will have that. And then again, control nuts will come, which we're also excited about. And we expect to have LoRa's, embeddings, and all of that fun stuff. So this is the announcement by Stability AI. What we'll do now is we'll look at it within Super Machine. We have loaded up both of the models available today within Supermachine. There is the Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large, which can create some really stunning images. You see this one here of the butterfly. You see how the water and the lighting looks. It's really quite incredible. And then we have some more images like this rabbit, which looks really awesome. So this is our gallery so you can see the type of images that are possible you can click on any of these to see the prompt that was used and you can copy the prompt and use it yourself if you want or modify it to your needs this is the large model this isn't the turbo model this model will take a little bit longer to generate but it shouldn't be too long and i'll go and showcase the turbo model for you now so here is the stable diffusion 3.5 turbo remember turbo means it's distilled model of the large model and it means you can get the generations in a faster time because they use less steps to generate and you'll see here we have some awesome portrait style images of different females we then have this fun cactus with the free hugs which i really like we then have some cocktails looking like this looking out onto a beach view through a window and we're just sort of sort of trying to show the diversity of different types of images 
that can be created with this model. Again, both SD 3.5 Turbo and SD 3.5 Large are available to use in Super Machine today. Please try them out. Please have fun generating with them and give us any feedback. Remember, this is a initial release, so we will be adding more toggles, more controls of what you can do with specifically within the coming days and weeks. So there we have it. Stable Diffusion 3.5 Turbo, Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large. We love it when new models are released and we are very excited to push them to production for everyone to use within Super Machine on the same day usually that they're released. We had Stable Diffusion 3.5 up on the site within 12 hours of the announcement and we are really committed to always giving you the latest and the greatest in AI image generation in a very simple to use intuitive uh, platform and dashboard within your browser. What isn't to like with that? I don't like to play around with code too much so being able to just log into an account hit generate and get an awesome image is the stuff of dreams if you haven't got an account for super machine consider signing up today at supermachine.art we'd love to have you on board and bring your imagination and create creativity to life thank you